Lately I've been, been on fire, shit I can't My miss Clutch shot, MJ in the finals, nigga game Damn. six I just bought a scrizzy, it's about to get flizzy what? I'ma take that dope money, put it in my business Hey, you need to know what's going on on the field or the courts? Well, tune in. This is Everybody Knows Sports. BZ, Chuck, Cousin JJ, Yego. How y'all doing today? Good, brother. How you doing? Cool. Hey, hey, hey. Good to hear from y'all. Good to hear from y'all. So, Chuck, man, you want, you want to tell us where we starting off? What, what topic you want to, y'all want to start with? Uh, you want to get this NBA trade out of the way? Man, what y'all think about it? Who's the real winner, man? Man, um, I don't know because both teams got better. Th that is true. I feel like Cat going to the Knicks. It's um, it's gonna be it's gonna be different, but I feel like that's the piece they might have been missing. I mean, they did send General Julius Randle, and they lost uh, anyway. Yeah, man. I, if I'm not mistaken. He didn't really play in the playoffs run, right, Julius Randle? Exactly. No, he was hurt. Yeah, yeah he, was, he hurt. was hurt. Yeah, he was hurt. He helped him get there, though. Yeah. But man, that's going to be scary. I feel like it's going to be scary. Did he have to have surgery? I, don't, I think it's so. I forgot what injury that is that set him in he the playoffs. He had shoulder like surgery. Ain't he always hurt? That's true. He most definitely is always hurt. Mm -hmm. I feel Ain't like, yeah. I don't know. He comes I feel through. like the Knicks made out. I think so too. I mean, For you got sure. a stretch the card. Knicks, the Knicks, I'm, that's why I said both teams got better because. I mean, Devin Tenzo uh, gonna add some depth to their shooting guard position, but like, I mean, Julius won't be bad, but I don't know, bro. What we'll, what made them want to keep Rudy Gobert over Cat? Yeah. That's, I mean, that's different. Unless they, they want to, they ain't gotta the, pay. The they ain't gotta pay Rudy as much as Cat. I mean, but don't that go without saying? You got to pay the talent, bro. It's a one-way player. To yeah. an extent, but yeah. I was gonna say, do you guys think the the Julius Randall injury thing was more of a Knicks thing than a Julius Randall thing? Like they were overusing him. That is a thing with Tid, so that could have been a factor. Yeah, most so, definitely. That's what Derek Rose. <laughs> hey man, my he almost did it for Jalen Brunson too. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and definitely. Uh, let's let's give the flowers for um Derrick Rose. He retired. Yeah, my oh, boy. Man. Shout out, my boy. Hey, I know he ain't get a ring, but man, come on, bro. First ballot Hall of Fame. Yay, nay. Hey. Yes, for sure. Hey, Should that's be. the greatest Chicago Bulls of all time. <laughs> <In> <laughs> my, <laughs> <you know. laughs> I'm talking shit. In my eyes, for sure. I mean, I know what Jordan did, but shoot, D Rose to be a South Side. Kid from Chicago, man, to see yeah, him bro, hey. go to Simeon, to go to Memphis, then come back to the crib with the number one draft pick and what he did for the city of Chicago. He gave young kids like us hope that we can do yeah. Man, shout out my boy, Poo, man. I love you, boy. Hey. Hey. I just wish he would have never got hurt. Man, Don't both knees. You feel me? Both hey, Don't If he never got hurt, bro, it would have been hard for niggas coming out that east. For sure, man. For sure. I couldn't stand LeBron for years. Cause he I bet. Couldn't stand <laughs> Probably about eight straight, huh? Man, he shoot, and that's prime D Rose. You feel me? He couldn't get past yeah, Boston, sure. boy. Them that one series, what was that 2009? That series that they had with the Celtics that went seven. Yup. Oh nine. Nah. Bro. Yeah, that was basketball legendary. I ever watched in my life. Man. That was legendary. Hey, his explosiveness, man. I don't think we I don't think we're gonna see another player like him for quite a while. Man, I feel like that whole little class, like bro, Westbrook. I mean Ja Ja nice. Ja gotta stay out of trouble though, man. You feel it? And, and he okay. gotta stay and, healthy. And I, I'll fuck with John Morant, but I don't know if he got that D Rose explosiveness. Like bro, Derrick Rose had that first step, and once he got past you. He was gone, right. bro. Like, man, and I just I don't know. Like, John, John got the he got the athleticism, but I just don't know if he got the speed, bro. Derrick Rose was really speed killed. I will give you that, man. For sure. I give you that. Okay, For sure, man. 
Yeah, man. Another since we gonna keep it in the basketball world, we want to say RIP to the one and only. No, 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 no. Yeah, Matambe, man. RIP yeah. that man. RIP hey, to man. Matumbo, man. Oh uh, yeah, and way. one more RIP, man. Pete Rose died too today. Oh, Damn, man. Pete Rose did. Yeah. Yeah, they said he was trying to get into the Hall of Fame before he died. I didn't know he was about to die. I know. He was Man. 82. Hey, I just knew he wasn't getting in the Hall of Fame. Man, never. Yeah, he was really? trying. He was trying, no, I didn't. man. I didn't know he was about like, you can to have die, a documentary. I knew he wasn't getting in the Hall of Fame. I mean, but then Pete Rose had some, like, gambling stuff going yeah, on. He gambled, on, he gambled on himself and his own team. He, like... It's like he like did the ultimate no no. <laughs> yeah, no, for <laughs> sure. Like a lot of these, like these guys in the NFL, they made like an Calvin lot of Ridley peace. and stuff are getting in trouble for just gambling. Period. When they're not allowed to, but he was gambling on his his, his own team. team yeah. So. My thing yeah. is, if you're in the NFL, what the fuck is the point of gambling? You got money. I mean, I get it. You want to triple quadruple, but bruh. Come on, you gonna risk? Said, we, we, we was trying to create generational wealth here, Diego. <laughs> Man, you did that when you signed that multi-million dollar contract. You fucking it yeah. up when you putting some of that same little few dollars on you, whoever. He thought he was gonna turn it into a billion dollar contract. Hey, there it go. <laughs> he said, "If I just hit this parlay right here, Man. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> Damn. Real clown. But yeah, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Uh, before we go to the next topic, I think the Knicks won by getting yeah. cat. I ain't gonna lie, they dumped Julius Randle. We don't know what he's got in the tank left after that surgery. So this is definitely gonna be a. Hey, but this will be a great redemption season for him, yeah. and he gonna get to play alongside Cat. I mean, uh, Ant. So he definitely got some big help. Yeah. yeah. And Cat gets yeah. Jalen Brunson, so hopefully that works out. They're going to stretch the hell out that court with all that yeah. space. Knicks and you got Bridges over there, crazy. too. You got Bridges over there, too. Mikael Bridges, that's on the Knicks, too. So I think the Knicks most definitely going to ball out in the East, man. Most definitely. They're going to be somebody. They're going to be somebody. Yeah, for sure. All right. Yeah, what's the next topic I want to go to? Diego, you want to touch on some Jeremiah Smith? And you say you wanted to talk about Jeremiah. What is wrong with dude? Did y'all see anything Jeremiah Smith this weekend? No, I missed it. No. Y'all ain't hit. Y'all ain't hit the Jeremiah nope. Smith. No. Let us know. Little Ohio hit. State got this freshman receiver, bro. This nigga, he pulling down one-handed catches. He crazy work, like. The Nick, this is the first. They said it's the first time anybody to score a touchdown in the first four games of their freshman season. Oh man, that's dope. I mean, but you got and it's a couple of them where he got two. It's a couple of them where he got two. If y'all get the chance, check him out, bro. But you know that was just See. my uh my highlight highlight at college athlete of the week. He the way he made it sound, out. I thought I thought he got into something over the weekend. Like maybe he was. Oh, he was like he got to, in trouble. Like oh no, he nah, got like, or like he online out. talking trash or something like that. But no, nah, he just balled out. That's what he that's just what balled like. out. Yeah, he balled out. He really, you know, uh, me being like in the recruiting space, like high school, college. I'm learning about all these different people and everything. And um, my nephew went down there to Florida to train with the man that trained him his whole life, the Jeremiah Smith guy. He said, dude, my nephew, the same guy that trained Jeremiah Smith his whole life, trained my nephew. Matter of fact, remember when we went to the Canabas? Yeah. My nephew went to Florida. I was supposed to go to Florida with them, but we went to the Canabas. And um, he went down there. He was training with Jeremiah Smith's trainer. And he missed Jeremiah Smith by, like, Six hours both days. Like Jeremiah had just left when Jamir got there, and Jamir had just left when he got back. But he said he better than uh, Jeremiah Smith was at that age. He said he already okay. better than how he was at that age. So, yeah, I remember you telling me that. But now that I'm actually getting a chance to really watch him, 
Jeremiah Smith is crazy, bro. I didn't think it was going to be. I didn't think it was going to happen this soon, how good he was. They said, my nephew said while he was, um, he went up to an old state camp, and he said he was watching him like, boy, Jeremiah different. The only the only person that won a route against him in practice was Caleb Downs. And that's yeah, the transfer from Alabama. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He, came, he just transferred from Alabama. Is he, is he Marvin Harris Jr.? Man, he's better than him. It's what it's sounding like. You know, Marvin, hey, Marvin's listen, slow. listen to me. Listen to me. <laughs> when Marvin was a freshman, we wasn't talking about Marvin until he was a junior. Until Chris Alave and um Garrett Wilson. We weren't talking about Marvin like that until they we, got out of his way. This we only knew he was there because of his dad at first. <laughs> Yeah, that's True. what we thought. We just thought that he was just there because of his name until that them few years went past and mm-hmm. the receivers ahead of him got out of his way and he really started balling. No, this man is balling on Cardell Tate and Emeka Ibuka. He's making them look like they freshmen and he been here. Okay, okay. Man, real talent. That's bad. That's good. But like I say, Ohio State know how to, know how to push talent out. You feel me? Elite talent. Especially receivers. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Especially for so sure. while we had a, so while we talking about Ohio State, I want to just get to take a time and get a shout out to man, um, Trotwood Rams. How they was able to go down there Sunday and play on the field. Chuck, shout out Chuck. I heard you was getting you, you was getting busy down there too, brother. Hey, but, hey, man, that's good. That them boys coming soon. Able, good, them yeah, boys. Young man was able to go see that man and go shoot for the stars, man. So shout out, shout right. out. Hey, get shit out, we're around. Right, and I had, I had to give you a little. Going Saturday against Iowa. Okay, yeah, I got to give a little. You stay there now. It, it, it always feels good to be on that field. Yeah. Always. Hey, facts. And I get to, you know, actually be on the field. It's crazy. They treat, <laughs> hey, them college visits, they treat my boy different. Like, real VIP service. Like, they hit different. The Let's field. start there. <laughs> on I'm the field, you be up, up there looking. young is like. Hey, what's up, bro? I'm, I'm following you. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> be on the sideline with the poncho getting all the pictures. Getting all the pictures. <laughs> they going to be like, hey, for oh, sure. Hey, you yo, see up there, buddy? They going to be yo. <laughs> I ain't never yeah. thought I would have met Vernon Davis the day before he went into the Hall of Fame. Hey, yeah, that's sure. a club. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Boy, yeah. Who was? While we still on college, who else uh, bought out this weekend in college? Uh, All right, so uh, get to Tennessee. I'm gonna talk about Archie Manning. Let me tell you what this. Texas. Is you keep for. saying Tennessee. He a Texas. I'm bro. sorry, Texas. Texas. I'm sorry, Archie Manning. No, <laughs> hey, no it's, you were. Hey, you know we just had to get it clear because I, I like Tennessee. Tennessee is a real favorite of mine this season. Oh yeah, for sure. But Texas. Let's talk but about Texas this. freshman. Man, let me talk about how he got. Got like 900 yards, got nine touchdowns, two interceptions. And this is what we just talking about, like what he's doing right now. But I'm talking about the swag on the field. I feel like he got a mix to everybody. He got little Eli. Whoa. He got little Peyton. And he got little granddaddy Archie in a way. I mean, I'm telling you, the swag is between. Patrine is amazing, man. I like how he's productive himself, man. So shout out to Archie, man. I think it's going to be a great season for him. Yeah, did you hear what Peyton, Peyton and Eli said? They said the the their dad's athleticism skipped a generation with them. No, <laughs> Archie got it. Yeah, I'm telling hey, you, Archie moving. He doing a little swag dances. Man, I'm telling you, man, dots. I feel Do like every time realize, he throw it's a dot. You hear me? Do y'all realize we had the chance to see the whole entire career of possibly the greatest Manning ever? Whew. Yeah, I mean, but it seems it always like that. It's always the youngest talent team like they get a mixture of everybody, like especially how he can stay in the pocket and see it how Peyton was. And he, he got the move and he, man, it's it's different, man. It's bro. I'm just I'm not be able to see it, man. Who y'all think gonna draft him? <laughs> no, I don't know. Years, I it think, just, for that, don't it depends who needs a quarterback yeah. when he goes. Yeah. And he still he a friend, he a red shirt friend. Is it gonna so be Cleveland? Like bro, I, I hope know. not. Hell no. I don't want to see his career die, bro. I want Minnesota. the best. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. 
twenty twenty six is when he's eligible. I don't know. So it's gonna be a couple years before he comes out. It might be Atlanta. Kirk Cousins will be dead by then. They got oh. Penix. <laughs> they just got Penix this year. Yeah, they just. Yeah, but they you know, they enough. like to have like three quarterbacks on deck. <laughs> if that's the case, you know what I'm right. saying. Then. Bring his ass to New England. It's a New Era. Oh yeah, duh, duh. <laughs> the y'all, y'all got to get a line first though, bro. Why you think we ain't playing Drake May this Drake year? Drake May, I know. Ain't no reason to get that young and killed. <laughs> he the first uh he the first NFL red shirt I ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this used to be the norm. They used to keep rookies on the bench. Hey, I hey. have a show. Best best red shirt in the league right now. You know who it is, right? Hey, not in the not when they went top five. Patrick Mahomes. Sure enough. Yeah, he did get red shirted. He did. He overall pick. But got, I don't know, got man. The, the NFL got to – they got to make them shirt. lose, bro. They've been giving them games week after week, bro. Man. Oh, yeah, the Chiefs. The Chiefs. Yeah, bro. Like, it's 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 like – it's crazy. It anymore, man. Hey, it's a good thing, though. It's good. Let them get all this shit out the way now. <laughs> yeah. the play, hey, because when the playoffs come, Lamar Jackson is not going this year. Man, yeah, man, we gonna see. I mean, Der- Derrick Henry had an amazing game last night, man. If he, he got can some stay help. healthy until the playoffs, the Ravens going. could go seventeen and zero, and they would lose in the first playoff game. <laughs> oh, you sound Ravens? like the you you sound like the Patriots and when they not, had that, that undefeated year. Yeah, and they lost nah, the Super we didn't, Bowl nah, to Eli. That. We didn't lose in the first round. Yeah, I ain't saying that. Well, you no, nah, I'm saying round. he said the first round. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all get a first round bye. <laughs> man. Man. But yeah, man. Um another college team that went crazy um on Saturday. We're gonna talk about them Colorado Buffaloes, man. Shador, hey, you, know man. you know what's really crazy about them? What? You don't hear too much about them because they win man. Oh yeah. Remember yeah. when they lost they lost that first game that they lost? Everybody, yeah. including me, was on their head about how Dion can't coach and how y'all blow that lead. And now yeah. that they uh four and one, motherfuckers ain't got nothing to say. In the words yeah. of Jason Taylor, what they going to say now? What they going to say now? You hear me? I mean, it's still a lot of football. They still got to play, though, but still. I mean, Travis so, Conner. What to their advantage, JJ? It's a 12 team college playoff. You could lose probably three games and still make it in. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's true. That's most definitely true. And they one of them teams, if they get in the playoffs, I don't know, they might be real dangerous. One game, you got to play in one game. Boy, you can't yeah. go hey, out for that nigga. Hold up. Hunter, boy. Yeah. Sorry, right. I didn't mean to cut you off. I just had an amazing realization. In two years, we might have two quarterbacks coming out. Shador and Arch, Arch Manning Arch. and Shador Sanders. Yeah, it's going to be one of the things where the NFL that careers going to be feels, tied together their whole life. I feel mm-hmm. old. This is what our parents were dealing with like 10 years ago. Like, oh, I knew his For real. dad. <laughs> For real. Hey, no cap. Man. Was, hey, what y'all need to be on the lookout for is Notre Dame next season, bro. Oh, no, they're hey. Bro, they got Jerome Bettis' son coming, Plexico oh, yeah. Burr's son coming, and Ike Taylor's son. All committed. Damn, they y'all got play. the whole Pittsburgh pipeline? Bro, the whole <laughs> Notre Dame. They all went to Notre Dame. Damn. Oh, that's tough right there, though. Bro, so like you just said, it's going to be crazy. It's going to get even crazier because now all these – it's like Brownies, nigga. All day, everybody's yeah. getting older. Everybody's kids yeah. are getting in the league. Everybody kids is getting older, so we getting a witness day evolution. I'm telling Chris y'all. Jenkins Jr. is a fucking bangle. Plexico, oh my my nephew's gonna get the chance to play with Chris Henry Jr. at O State if he chooses to go to O State. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's tough. Crazy shit, word. Man. man. But no, what I was about to say is listen to me. And you know I'll be saying some crazy shit, but listen to me, bruh. Plexico Burr's son is way better than he ever was already. <laughs> sure, man. 
Ain't Plastic Cody one shot himself? Yeah. <laughs> And I think he got two <laughs> rings. Yeah, he got two. I mean, yeah, with the Giants, I understand. But he, he one with the Giants and to, one with the Steelers, if I recall, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure. I think so. That sound about right. I'm looking at that. That sound about right. Damn. But yeah, his son is great. He was at the camp with my nephew. They love him at Notre Dame. Like, hey, it's it's crazy, bro, just being around and seeing these – Seeing these people, the meeting these people, it's just crazy. Like, and then you get to watch their kids grow up and watch their kids on TV, nigga. The bus. <laughs> we used to watch the bus as much as we all hated the Steelers, because I feel like everybody in here hate the Steelers probably equally. We hated Jerome Bettis, but we get to see his son play. Nigga, I hated <laughs> Peyton Manning, but we get to see his nephew play. Yeah. We all we all you know, love, I can't uh, stand Deion Sanders though. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Prime hey, is definitely. We, his sons we most definitely watching his sons and his daughter can hoop. Oh, yeah. That's why one of his daughters can hoop. Not the one that got the baby by Jacquees, but it's he got another one <laughs> <laughs> that can hoop. What, uh, what brother? Much. I beg your finest pardon. Go <laughs> <laughs> too much, man. Right. Anything else on college? <clears throat> Hold up, before can we talk about how um before we move on to the NFL because I'm pretty sure that's going. Can we talk about Alabama? Sure. Oh nah, man, yeah, Alabama. No, nah, hey, I'm man. pretty sure. I speak for a lot of people that thought Alabama was going to fall off when Nick Saban was gone. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a new era. <laughs> hey, it's a new era, in Alabama boy. Niggas yeah, in Alabama, it. yeah. And she was especially like wow. so many people counted them out. They thought Georgia was gonna take that. Yeah, uh, um you know, I thought that was weird because like, yeah, Nick Saban, he was a, a big part of the winning mentality there, but it wasn't just on Nick, bro. For sure. And I mean, I know he was nervous because like the talent is gonna be spread a little more evenly now because of the NIL deals and shit, but like people still want to go to Bama, bro. Like, Facts. For sure. Hey, for sure. It's still Bama. That's yeah, it's a great you, said, you, you, you can't erase what they did. That's true. That's sure. a lot of history there, man. So it's That's like history. That's prestige. Like we was playing the yeah. NBA, it's prestige there. It really is. So yeah. the fact but that they were saying that was, was weird to me in the first place. Like, well, niggas is still gonna go just because of what they did, who they yeah. are. So I don't know. I thought that was, but maybe that was a part of marketing by ESPN and them. And no, and no. What it was was they had a lot of transfers leave out too, though. It was Nick Saban, sure, no, they, they definitely lost talent for sure. Yeah. They like, yeah. Nick gone. I'm not about to stay here. Fuck that. I'm going to state. <laughs> I'm going to uh, Tennessee. I'm going to goddamn it. Where I'm about to shine at. I don't even know this coach coming in. Fact. Did you guys remember Alabama before Nick Saban got there? Trash. Trash. He definitely yeah. helped them out. But Alabama was, did still have, like, they've, they've had these kind of errors before. Like, they've gone through multiple eras of domination and shit, but they, they had a big, long gap of nothing. Mm. Yeah, that's what the worst that. up with here. But that's what I'm saying, like. Nick Saban was on easy mode on Dynasty. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna say though. Like, I just don't even think that their team was ever really that bad. They just ne they needed a great coach. Once that great coach got there, like it turned them to the next level. Yeah, that's true. Turned... Facts. That's true. Like, uh, kind of like Florida when um, what's the name with there? Or Urban, Urban Myers. Myers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Urban Myers. yeah, for sure. Like, it was always a good team, but Urban Meyer turned them niggas into champions. Man, the crazy thing about it, y'all, I ain't know Cam Newton was on that team, bro, until I watched the show, man. Uh, he, knew it. he got kicked out. Yeah, he got kicked out of um, Florida. That's when he went to um, – He went to the Juco. Oh, yeah, he went to the Juco yeah. for a year. He went to the Juco for a year, didn't he, y'all? But I ain't and know he, was, he got drafted. Well, he got – um. Bro, that Florida, Florida team was crazy. Yeah, they was stacked. They was stacked. <laughs> Have y'all have have y'all seen the um Aaron Hernandez show? That yeah, not have on? that's how I figured out. Like, damn, Cam Newton. He was like, yeah, we got a, a great class. We got Cam Newton, Aaron Hernandez, the best recruiting class of all time. 
Yeah, I was like, bro, but boy, that boy was a wild boy. You hit me? The wild boy. Hey, <laughs> I hate, I just hate how they kind of put, put that gay shit on my boy. Like, man, I don't that's got nothing against the homosexuality community. I just hate how now that he boy. dead, now this is the whole topic. Y'all just pin like his whole life was just that. Like, man, hell yeah. no, this man was a fucking killer. Yeah. Uh, real life. Feeling off the field. Real life stepper. You hear me? I be with them steppers, huh? Yeah, but yeah, nah. But you can't take away from that one of the greatest tight ends to ever lace them up, man. Nah, he just had nah. his own different. He was fighting his own different demons. You feel? Me? So they say. Of course, he did. Now we can change this narrative any way we want to. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But him and Thibault, they was they was going crazy. <laughs> Going crazy. Which is crazy because crazy that's like that's one of God's soldiers and and one of <laughs> Satan's strongest. If you think about it, <laughs> yeah, you, hey, imagine how Tebow. Imagine Tebow in this situation. Like you got me. I'm the quarterback. I'm the captain. <laughs> I'm a damn near a pastor, and you surround me with criminals. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Literal killer. He said you're gonna rob me with them people, man. I'm and everybody I play with is a criminal. Man, no, man shoot, you Cam Newton stealing laptops and shit. Like, man, it's crazy. You ever man. seen that? It was a Titan, a safety or a corner from the Titans. He said uh, he was playing. Yeah, against the yeah, Patriots. yep. He, he was talking he, shit to Aaron Hernandez. He said, I'll fucking Hernandez. Kill you. And he said, I'll fucking kill you. And he said, Little <laughs> did I know. He was <laughs> fucking for real. real. He said, He meant that shit. <laughs> no, nah, for real. That's crazy. Uh, the parking lot with him. <laughs> hey, man. He just let him know, bro. You, 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 I'm, I'm one of them. Sure. Hey. Hey, I'm one of them. <laughs> Damn, man. But hey. All yeah. right, so we're taking it to the NFL. Man, uh, great win for my Chicago Bears. I feel like, man, Kayla Williams got a step. Hey. I understand he's a rookie. Hey. But I, like certain things. Y'all should have drafted Jaden Daniels. Hey, man. I, hey. Hey, all I'm going to say is this. I felt like we should have kept Justin Fields. I just felt like we should have got Marvin Harrison and spent some O-line. And spent some money on O-line. Because the quarterback Bro, that sounds so smart, game. don't it, JJ? Huh? I said that sounds so smart, don't it? It's it's I was, it was, it was I was, right there for him to do. Man, I'm telling you, that's it. But you know, who, what I know Shit. nothing about you. Them are us too. <laughs> Man, because look at him, like boy Marvin Harrison going crazy, crazy. But. Don't deny the fact that Jaden Daniels is the best quarterback in that draft. I mean, I ain't gonna take nothing away from my, what, I watching him play with the commands. The games like it's okay, bro. People fuck up. People fuck up. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it that's happens just, quite often. That's actually. a real talent. Yeah, that's a real talent. What, what game you watching, Beasy? Uh, the Lions and Seahawks. Oh, the Dolphins, that shit is boring. Yeah, yeah. The Dolphins yeah. got 21 already. <laughs> hey, you see the how Dolphins they play two the games on Mondays now? We'll never I mean, the Lions, my fault. Huh? You said what, JJ? I said, you see how they play two games on Mondays now? We'll never come to New York. Yep. Your guess is good as mine, bro. Man. And if we don't know basketball, finna come back on. He's trying to get it running up. Hey, yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> they, they gotta compete. Man. But uh, nah, but they probably started doing this since they added that extra game. You know, it's eighteen now, so they probably had to rework a new um contract with television. Nah, that's true. That's true. yeah, that makes Who sense. Just said Miami makes got twenty one. They only got six. They don't, they don't my fault, brother. Nine to six. I meant the Lions. My fault. Lions got twenty one. Yeah, yeah, they are they're spanking us, the Hawks. They're doing the they're doing the two uh, Monday night game things because ESPN paid for more games. Uh, okay. Instead of doing whatever they did, they did like an ABC ESPN double header instead of like adding another game in or something like that. Ah, uh, okay, got it. That makes that makes more sense. Yeah, these niggas trying to stay rich. I ain't mad about it, but uh, yeah, man. So um. 
What do you think the Patriots are going to do with the rest of this season, Diego? Tank it. Hopefully we lose every Tank game. It. Tank <laughs> it. Every game except one of the games against Buffalo. I hate them niggas. But hopefully we lose that. every game uh, and go get uh, Shador. Not Shador. Uh, Travis Hunter. Yeah, hey. You think they're going to do that, though, man? Y'all ain't got no line at all. You don't want to keep going with that, man. Look at where the Bengals at, man. Hey, that's cool. We can get a line in the second and the third round. That's we true. I mean, sure not enough. That, to do it. We can't keep, we that's can't a generational talent. Yeah. So do you do you feel like they'll change Travis Hunter up or they'll, they'll use him like um, – how to use Dion back in the day? Have him playing both. He's not going both, both ways in the NFL, bro. I'm already knowing. He gonna have to get. He he gonna have to pick, and it really ain't even gonna be. I was about to say pick. it. It ain't really gonna be his choice, bro. They gonna um. Well, they gonna evaluate is. that nigga, and then they gonna feel like whatever he best at, that's where he going. Yep. I think he best. He, I think he he best on defense though. He different. if he was smart, he would try to play offense. They get more money. Yeah, they do. We don't ever hear about the highest paid corner getting crazy breaking records, but the receivers and quarterbacks. No, I mean they changed. I feel like yeah. um, Jalen Ramsey, Ramsey now bag. changed that. Yeah, Ramsey changed that. They getting that bag too. I, I, now, if you would you rather have Jalen Ramsey bag or Justin Jefferson bag? These get that bag. I mean, man. Justin Jefferson bag for sure. You feel me? I'm just saying. Sure. Yeah, me. I, I feel like. Well, hold up. Normal receivers don't get a Justin Jefferson bag. Uh, but we both know he not normal. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, bro, hey, gonna be different. The Bengals gonna pay Jamar Chase. Did, did the Bengals pay Jamar Chase yet? No, nope, that's gonna yeah. be fucking downfall. That's why he pissed off. If you think about it. If you ever... If you ever met Jamar Chase, I dare you to go up to him and say, what's up, Jamar? <laughs> oh, my bad, bro. Hey, I fucked up names. No, 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 <laughs> no, you're but he's been playing, bad. bro. He got a 63 yard tutty against the Panthers. That's, that helped me out. He's on my fantasy. Who? Jamar. Jamar Chase, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Jalen Ramsey just signed a three year, $72 million extension. Yeah, but it took, took a whole lot of shutting guys down to get that. If you're a receiver, you can get that off of just having the speed and the ability. Mm-hmm. No, you can't. You are off the yeah. They're not paying you for ability. You got to go shit on them corners. Yeah. Well, if you have the ability, then you're going to do that. Uh, what's that boy name in Jacksonville? He he got he got a big check, and I didn't feel like he was worth it. Who? Uh, he playing Jacksonville. Uh, Christian Kirk. He got paid. He not he not worth that money if you ask me. But who else did they have to pay? That was his. That's where he got lucky at. They didn't have nobody else to pay. That's what I'm saying. Depending on where Travis goes, shit, boy, he might get some money just Anywhere for being he good. Goes, he's get a nice, decent bag, but it just if he play money. receiver, if he play cornerback, niggas is gonna make him prove it. Yeah, he gonna have to create an island type shit. Mm. Yeah, he, I guess. Do so that I guess in the NFL. Uh, Huh? I guess I think we could say you think he could do that in the back. NFL. Yeah. What the two ways? No, no. no. Play DB, be a lockdown, lockdown DB. Play. Yeah, I think he could be a lockdown DB. He understands the game well enough, and he has the athleticism, and the speed. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think he better at DB or or receiver? <laughs> <laughs> In college right now, shit, that's yeah, tough because right I feel like him, him I feel like he dominates team. both. But I'm gonna say defense just a little bit more. I feel oh, like wow. he might he might enjoy reading that. Hey, take them other receivers off of Colorado though, and that might be a little bit different story. Very they true. They Very don't true. Right. Don't they got another guy that's real good? I forget their receiver's name. I gotta go look at it. Hey, they a lot better this year than they was last year. For yeah. sure. For sure. I had a receiver last year that was killing it even more than Hunter was. Yeah, hey, that was crazy. Did remember. you what? His last, his last name Horn? was Horn. Was it Horn Jr.? Yeah, Horn. Yeah. Horn. Yeah, he Isn't was that Joe, Joe Horn's son or something like Joe that. Joe Horn Jr. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, he ain't even there no more. Fuck he at? I'm about to look. Uh, yeah. You want to touch? I want to say he played for the Panthers. Oh, Is that you? Yeah, he do. This this says he's thirty years old. He is. We talking about two different people. We talking about Jimmy Horn. I was about to say, I don't think that this is the, the person we talking about is his name. He, it ain't Joe Horn. It's Jimmy Horn. Nah, yeah. okay. It says he's on the Buffalo still. How come he ain't on the death chart? Me. Oh, there he is, right there. No, nah, that's my fault. <laughs> yeah, facts. He's twenty two. Yeah, it's him. Yeah. So he's still there. Yeah. I know. I just remember he helped me hit a hit a couple parlays last year. So yeah. I'm like, I'm yeah. <laughs> now I forgot. I forgot what game I seen last year that like they was down and he um he he juked the shit out of somebody and scored the touchdown. That, I mean, I forgot what I'm. Are you sure he's gonna be different? Sure he's gonna be different. I just want to see them against a real top tier team like. Tennessee or Oklahoma they get, or they get messed up every time they do that, man. <laughs> That's what we said last year too, and everybody stopped watching once we did. Mm-hmm. Nah, but nah. Uh, besides Patrick Mahomes, because I don't even think he that high up. Who y'all think having the best uh, season quarterback so far? Mm, that's a great question, man. Um, Brock Purdy. Believe it or not, nah, I ain't going to say that. But, I mean, Justin Fields have been showing up um, for the Steelers. I ain't going to try to say, like, mm-hmm. he's top tier. I mean. Um, I don't know. He's been playing all right. Yeah, he's been playing great. Um, what about Sam Darnold, bro? In Minnesota. Darnold. Sam Darnold's undefeated, bro. Hey, Man, I was, was going to say that. Yeah. I mean, I was gonna say, yeah. I, was gonna say, yeah. I mean, Josh Allen. Josh Allen. I was just about to say, Buffalo. They balling. Josh, he, crazy. Got, he got some young boys out there looking like stars. Man, I'm telling you, man. Josh they Allen. They did lose to Baltimore, man. though. They definitely lost. Didn't they just go yeah, out they, they lost last night. Lost. Yeah, they lost last night. Sad. Yeah. Yeah, he must definitely lost last. So Lamar year. Jackson? Nah, cause he had a, he he get, they got off to a slow start. Yeah, he they did. The best season so far, they got off to a very slow start. Yeah, sure they lost. Yeah, they lost. And they lost some games that you wouldn't even think they would have lost, man. Nah, mm. nah that, I ain't gonna lie. Nah, nah, I take that back because that first game against Kansas City, it dude was this much back. We'd be in a completely different conversation right now. Uh, I, I'm yeah. gonna tell them wear white cleats next time. That's my advice. That's all I'm gonna say about that call. Hey, hey. right now, hey, quick, top two quarterbacks and touchdowns in the NFL right now. Can you guys name them? Uh, say it again. Touchdowns. Top two touchdown passers in the NFL right now. Is it Rob Baker Murray Mayfield? Is Sam Darnold? Oh, I forgot about it Baker. Is. Oh, okay. Josh Allen's the next closest with seven. They're the top okay. two guys that touchdown passes in the league right now. Two years ago, mean? they were arguing Damn. over who was the bigger bust. <laughs> that's you said crazy. Baker and Darnold? It was Baker thing, and Josh that's Allen? Crazy. No, Baker and, and Sam Darnold. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes you gotta leave situations. I feel like Baker Mayfield, uh-huh. he and, I feel like in Cleveland, I just felt like he didn't get a good chance. Even though he had this, the the star power around him, it sometimes it just be culture. I feel like hey, he going crazy as the was out there in Tampa for real. Like if you I a mean, quarterback and you get drafted to Cleveland, just try to stay healthy and get to your first. Get contract. up out of there. It's gonna be all right, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be all right, my nigga. It's just for bad. Yeah, man. So, hey, yeah, I'm just man. glad Miles Garrett still wants to be here. Yeah. 
But yeah, we're not talking about money. how y'all notoriously bad at drafting quarterbacks, bro. Man, because I it's still like feel like hurt. I wouldn't have, yeah, I wouldn't have got Deshaun Watson. Out of all the talent that's out there, I wouldn't got Deshaun Watson. That man, that man loved too many happy that. endings for me. Man, mm-hmm. I don't know. I would have already had Dorian Thompson Robinson already seeing what he could do. Yeah, yeah. he can't even he can look that really good, really Robert good, and then Robert he can Kraft. throw an interception. You're right, brother. <laughs> You're right, Robert Kraft. Hey, but you know, Robert Kraft bag versus Deshaun Watson is different. You know, Robert Kraft man, his yeah. I'm just saying, you can't base have Robert Kraft off ain't of fucking you, up my season. That's true. <laughs> hey. That's true. That's supposed to enhance the performance. And career. here's one thing I want to talk about about that is how come we ain't know about them happy endings until he wanted to leave? He forced his way out of Texas. Nobody hey, found that. Right. 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 Hey, right. You know, <laughs> you know they always try to push an agenda. You feel me? Mm-hmm. They hit him with that Me Too movement rather smooth, that didn't was, they? That was a smear <laughs> job if I've ever hey, seen. Fuck my movement. boy up. Man, hey, you, know, you, know team, you know, you know why they're letting him play still because the Texans know that they're gonna be they're, they're straight now. They got CJ. Well, no, because you know they were setting him up. They were giving him the hotel. They were giving mm-hmm. him the women to call and shit and all that. Mm-hmm. They, so they're like, okay, let him, let him go keep playing so he don't take down our whole organization. Man, that's filthy when you think about it. Yeah, literally, man. Yeah. Now I'm stuck with him. <laughs> and y'all overpaid the hell out of him too. For sure. Hey, so what y'all. else you guys want to talk about? <laughs> you say change the subject, please. Hey, uh, so by week six, does uh Trevor Lawrence still have a starting job? Who's behind him? That I have no point. idea, but they already talking about benching him. Boy, that nigga so I mean good. Garbage. He's doing bad, bro. Like it, de- it depends on who behind him. Whoa! Hey, guess who his backup is? I think a lot of who? Yeah, go. You know who it is? Mac who Jones. Has- Mac yeah. Jones. Hey. <laughs> hey, yeah, it's um, all right. They go. They, they, they about to try to Mac attack. That's hey. great. Oh yeah. man, you're like this dude cut his hair, man. We're gonna hurt. play him. <laughs> Damn. Damn. I don't Damn. know. That's a tough one. Uh, are the Cowboys cooked? Aren't they always? <laughs> Damn, Damn Stephen A. <laughs> it's uh, hey, but you know what, man? I don't know, man. It'd be Dak for me, bro. I don't, I don't, man. Considering that he's that high paid of a quarterback, like he's elite and he struggles to beat man coverage, is crazy. Yeah, it'd be like that's man. not something you want to test. Hey, then I'm peeping. Hey, Jerry Jones, man, that man smart. You see how he got rid of Ezekiel Elliott, right? When it was time to pay him, then brought him back. And I know he ain't paying Ezekiel Elliott. What are you supposed to get? That boy getting the league, man, man, like a mug, ain't it? Hey, he's, hey. hey. He, he said, I'm a businessman, not a business <laughs> man. Well, let me handle I, this business. Damn. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I'm like Cardi in the flip side. Man, man. So, but damn, yeah. All right. Who y'all got as the big dogs this season, man? Who Who's y'all favorite to go straight to the bowl? I like the. I want to say the Bears, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. <laughs> that shit beat. That shit hey, beat. Hey, get off that bias. I love how you said that right. Right. Hey, Get off that bias, JJ. Hey, hey what? Right you talking city, about the yeah. nigga that come out talking about some hurrah and go Bears? Like, come yeah, on, man. man. Get off that bias, JJ. Y'all know y'all not going to no motherfucking playoffs. Then we talking about the Super Bowl here. He's talking about Super Bowl. Hey man, hey man, you know it be the sneaker teams, man. We might can sneak our way in, man. Two and two ain't bad nah, right now. Not, not, not Chicago ever. No. <laughs> hey, man. I ain't going to lie. That's why I, I like think, paying to this I think the, 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 sneaky, the sneaky NFC team that's going to sneak to the Super Bowl this year is playing right now. Oh, yeah? You think I so? I love the Lions, bro. 
I mean, they, 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 didn't do, they didn't do it last year. I mean, they, Jared Goff is out here going crazy. Hey, I love the I love the way the Lions look, bro. Nah, I get it, man. I get it. We don't it. know. AFC I mean, for sure. Them niggas going back. Yeah, man. Between them and the Ravens. Uh, man, I think you got to watch out for the goddamn Vikings, man. That's Vikings. NFC. Yeah. I, no, that's, that's what I'm the, telling hey, you. See the Bills the really NFC Championship, in. Vikings and Lions. Nah, hey, listen to me, bro. As much as I think the Bills are nice, they not a top-tier team, bro. They only beat the bad teams and look good. Yeah, when exactly. they beat teams that are as good as them or better, they don't even be in the same game as them, bro. Like Them niggas going to lose to the Patriots at home this year, JJ. Watch. <laughs> Man, you know, you know, so the – Patriots Hold beating the uh, Eagles in I'm game one. Good. I fucked up a lot of people on fantasy. Uh, yeah, my fantasy uh record was the same as the Bengals before we won. So hopefully, I can turn it around when they turn it since they turned it around. Man, for sure, for sure. But I don't know, y'all. That's a great question. Visit that halfway down the market. See who really so look, lost undefeated. Hey, for the AFC. Look at the, uh, we're For the, the AFC, real quick. the Chiefs gonna go lose in the AFC, and then Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift gonna break up. Listen, mark that here. <laughs> Bookmark this episode. I got the goddamn script, man. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. They gonna ball out all year, but they might go undefeated just to lose in the, the AFC championship. Damn. Damn, you saying they? There's a boo, huh? You say, hey, man, I'm trying up. to tell you. Hey, I'm fucking with the story. He don't even he don't even like white women for but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> uh he need to boost his publicity. Hey, bro, what? Nah, he took that uh vaccine and they had to give him, hey, we'll give you a, a multi-billion dollar girlfriend. <laughs> and, <laughs> and now him and his brother got the biggest podcast. Like, come on, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. Hey, I will say, has anybody here ever listened to their podcast? I have I watched it. Out a couple I've times. seen shorts of it. All right. I was about to say, for them to say it's the most watched, I don't know nobody that's watched it. Uh, right. It just makes sense, right? Because Mr. Pfizer. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, this is the same people that were trying to give you weed, that were trying to give you tickets to the Super Bowl, anything to make you take that vaccine. That was Man. the politicians doing that shit. Heard that. Heard that. I'm not defended. I'm not defended Pfizer by any means. Nah, we know you vaccinated, Chuck. Nah, not by Pfizer, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not by the Pfizer. <laughs> hey, hey, that, man. There's only one thing I think about when I see Pfizer, and it has nothing to do with vaccines. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a little blue pill? <laughs> <Possibly>. I'm weak. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know nothing about that yet, fortunately. <laughs> all right, what you all want to talk about now? <laughs> I think we have covered almost all the big things, man. You want to tell us something about, uh, is there any, uh, what is that, FS1 sports racing you be into? Yeah, <laughs> <in the laughs> fucking <sports minute. laughs> oh shit! Um, you mean Formula One? Yeah. Yeah. No, they they, they, they were on a break this week. Ah, okay. They're coming. They're coming to America this week, though. They're in Texas. Hey, that's that's gonna be big because that's usually a big foreign thing, right? Well, they go all over the world. We, you know, America's got three races now. No, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. That's okay. Like, it wasn't that big of a thing here, but they had three races. That's what's up, though. In Vegas, Who, you know, they raced down the strip. Who's dominating that sport, man? Well, it was Max Verstappen, but he done uh, – I don't know what happened to Red Bull this year because Lando Norris and McLaren is caught up, and it looks like McLaren's going to win the championship. I don't know if you guys know anything about Formula One, but Red Bull's been completely dominating the sport for like two years. Man, as most I know about that is 
McLaren was some of the fastest cars on Need for Speed High Stakes, and I always wanted them. So. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, they're back to dominating. Uh, that's what's up, though, because they're supposed to have some real top notch vehicles, and the fact that Red Bull is making top notch um drag racing Formula One cars and and energy drinks is crazy. Like that that shocks me. Like hearing uh GE made weapons for the army. Well, you know what they say. Red Bull, Red Bull gives you wings. <laughs> <laughs> that shit really funny. But hey, before before we get off of that, because I know I'm really the only one that that really even watches that. But you guys should tune in next year. Lewis Hamilton coming to Ferrari. I'm pretty excited about that. Hey, you're gonna have to remind me because I don't know nothing about it. But hey, maybe we can uh, have a little watch party or something. <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, for Lewis sure. Hamilton's the GOAT. He's got seven championships. He should have eight, but they screwed him over in Abu Dhabi in 2021. So he's only got seven. So he's going to Ferrari to try to get his eighth before he retires. Okay. He's the GOAT. Uh, you said they cheated him. How'd they do that? Uh, so it's the last lap of the last, like, five laps of the race. Somebody wrecked. So the caution came out. They're about to restart the race, and all the cars are in line. And usually they either make a decision to let all the lapped cars out of the way to get the slow cars out of the way, or they leave them where they're at. So Lewis is in first place. Max is in second. There's like three or four cars between them that aren't on the lead lap. Max came in, got fresh tires. Lewis didn't. So the FIA, who makes all the decisions during the race, decided to let the lapped cars, only the ones between them, buy, and then not the ones behind. So basically, they put Max right behind him on fresh tires. Last lap of the race, green flag comes out halfway through the lap. I mean, what do you think is going to happen? Yeah, new tires are going to get. Yeah, damn, yeah, that's dirty. Down. That's crazy. Yeah, it's down if like that four, was yeah, if those four cars would have been in there, Max would have had to get his way past them. It might not have caught Lewis. Hey, I want to yeah. ask y'all one more question, since we got like eight minutes left before we get out of here. Has mm -hmm. sports betting ruined sports? Damn, that's a great question. Um, Not this weekend, because <laughs> I did it right. <laughs> Dang, um, I feel like not really. I feel no, like listen. I feel like Vegas don't lose often, and I got a problem with that. I need Vegas okay. to lose a lot more often. That holding call last night on Amari Cooper is crazy. Bro. Like, I, okay, maybe it hasn't ruined sports, but it's ruined officiating for me. Okay, yeah, because the refs has been making some terrible calls. Say that. Like, uh, that shit is crazy. Like, it's almost obvious who the refs got their money on. Yeah, right. sure. <laughs> but look, though, no, I'm starting to – I'm going to start gambling next uh weekend. I'm putting up some big money on the Chiefs. Watch these niggas lose. <laughs> I was about to say that that might be all they need. They're like, all right, one more person on the Chiefs, they can lose. Yeah, they said somebody put some money on the Chiefs. They believe in them. Fuck it up. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Chiefs won't get one fucking penalty call. Mahomes gonna be out there crying. It might be time. Man, to I, I, look, I know there's got to be somewhere you can find the parlay of Chiefs losing the playoffs parlayed with a Kelsey. And swift breakup. There's got to be somebody that's got that for you that you can go bet on that. <laughs> Man. Man. Hey. Who's winning these games? I ain't been keeping up. Yeah. Seattle trying to come back. Man, if they do, oh, it's already over with. Oh, no. Yeah, if they come back. Man, I need some points in that other game. I got a parlay of the Titans and the Seahawks and both overs. Oh, man. That's what's up, man. Six minutes left. Anybody else want to ask anything? Want to talk about anything else before we wrap it up? Um, sure. Only thing I'm going to add, man, is um, if y'all know any fifth graders or sixth graders, we're doing an open run Sunday from 12 noon to one thirty. Come get this wreck in with Jim City Heat, man. Basketball finna pick up. So, you know, any young men that uh, can benefit for great mentor, great coaching, man, bring them my way, you feel? What age group is that again? Fifth, I mean, fifth, sixth, so what, that's like 11, 12. Okay. 
Yeah. So, you know. Y'all trying Anybody? to build a parlay? You say yeah. what? Yeah. yeah. You want to do That's Thursday it. night? You want to build a parlay? It's a little early, but you want to try one for Thursday night? Yeah, that's cool. We got um, the Falcons and the Bucks, right? Oh, that should be a good one. Just because of my boy Darnell Mooney. I'm going with Kyle Pitts over five catches. Five? Hold on, let me get my let me get this up so I can keep us with some updated odds. You said Pitts over catches. Yep. Five. How many? Five catches. All, right. All right, BZ, you got us one. What is it? Is it add, add, add a, a, a leg. Parlay. Ooh, wait. Um, how I do that? You know, I don't know nothing about gambling. Who what, you think gonna win? Yeah. Uh, what's the game? Bucks and Tampa Bay. Uh, Tampa Bay yeah. uh, dog by one and a half. Give me Baker play. Mayfield. You Bucky, want how many straight touchdowns, up? How many touchdowns Baker going to throw? Uh, I got two of them. Bet. Put Baker All Mayfield right. for two touchdowns. JJ, out of the leg. Man. Um, damn. Is Mike Evans still on a on – a, on a, uh, yeah, he's at 97 to- total touchdowns for his career. He's leading all active receivers in touchdowns. People went mm. underestimate my dude. And he's my first receiver in my fantasy team, even keeping me afloat. I draft, him every- <laughs> I draft him every year. I try to get as much of him every year as I can. He never lets me down. Yeah. Well, sure. sure you want to put, put him in the end zone? Out. Yeah, for sure. I think, yeah, for sure. He's going to sure. I- score. Yeah, he's going to score for sure. All right. Was that an anytime score for Mike Evans? Yeah, and then Baker Mayfield for two touchdowns. And I'm trying to find this receiving props, but it ain't showing me receptions for. Hey, dude. David Montgomery just did some goat shit. Man, and that's another one I'm pissed about. He was a bear, too. And they look, I'm going to trade him to the Detroit. That'd be, that'd be crazy to me, man. At least send him. Hey, David it. Montgomery just did some uh, Adrian Peterson looking shit. I'm telling you, bro. That's why when they traded him, they should have traded him out of division, man. Put him somewhere else. Like, like you feel him? I think we're going to have to wait to place this bet because they're not showing any of the Falcons receivers for receptions yet, Yeah, uh, That's cool. You want to you wanna pick a different leg or you want to just – You know what I'm saying? Wait. We ain't got to make the bet now. I'm just well, I was wanting to get the – I was trying to get the odds for us. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. All right, we'll, we'll just keep, keep an eye out. We'll, we'll, we'll post the parlay for, for yeah, you all. All right, so what's your leg, Chuck? Oh, yeah, I got to put a leg on there. Um. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say give us the under. What do you guys think about the under on the game overall? 43 and a half. Under 43? Atlanta? Yeah, it'd be a surprise, I think. I think it's more likely to go over, but I'm just – I think it might – Under 43 and a half? Games. You said under 44 under 43? Yep. Under 43 and a half. So we can get that 23-20 final and still hit the under. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. That sounds like a score they might have, too. Yeah, for sure. That sounds like a All decent right. ass ticket, too. What the fuck? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's at 794 without the receptions on there. Oh, uh, yeah. So we'll see. We'll see when when they add the receptions in because they've just got three bucks receivers on there for receptions. They don't have anybody. Yeah, so should, I change my, should I change my leg to the win or lose? What they go win or lose? Uh, sure. All right, give me the, the uh, right Buccaneers minus three. You want a spread on it? Yeah. Minus three. Buccaneers minus. No, my, minus hey, two it's and only a half. Me, Buc- I was going to say it's only giving me point five. So there you go. All right, so we're looking at Baker Mayfield over one and a half touchdowns. Mike Evans, anytime touchdown. 
under 43 and a half points and the Falcons by two and a half. We're at plus 3,649. <laughs> Darn. The Bucks, three and a half. Oh, okay. Two and a half. Man, look, look, they got the Bucks over here on this side, right? And I hit it mm-hmm. under there. And that was the Falcons for some reason. So I Jared Goff just caught a touchdown, bro. Hey, I'm yeah. you, bro. The Lions is my secret sleepers of the whole season. Okay. Hey, these boys out here getting nasty. I fucking I fuck mm-hmm. with St. Ross. I mean, I said St. Ross. I'm in Ross St. Brown. St. Brown, All right. yeah. All right, we're at plus eleven sixty four. That's what we're at on our bet. Okay. We'll send out a little graphic with everything on there for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Back. All right. I'm good. Y'all good? Yes, yes sir. sir. You got something to send us out on, DZ? Yes, sir. All right, all right, all right. It's the best sports podcast on this earth. And if we don't know nothing else, we know sports. We out of here. Yeah. Go. All right. Lately, I've been on fire. Shit, I can't miss. Clutch shot. MJ in the finals. Nigga, game six. I just bought a scrizzy. It's about to get flizzy. I'm going to take that dope money, put it in my business.